Anyways. <laughs> Guess welcome to... Get. Something is pressing on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome to episode 21 of Spider. Last episode, we got a lot of information about, uh, particularly Oka-sensei's skill. I believe Kumiko ended up starting a war some way, somehow. Oh yeah, she killed a, she killed a bunch foreign of representative inside of our poor man's, uh, Sophia's dad's house. That, uh, that is not gonna bode well. Honestly, I feel really sorry for him. He, he doesn't even know what's going on. He's trying mm. so hard. Pony was scheming, as he always does. And, uh, yeah, I think we pretty much discussed uh, everything in the last episode, because, damn, that was a really long discussion, now that I think about it. And Kiwi left in the <laughs> middle of the episode, sadly. I am very sorry about that. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> was that also the episode she pinged you at the start of it? <laughs> yes, it was. That was a genius move, really. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hmm. Shouldn't wash in his face. <laughs> He kind of looks like Gilgamesh now that I think about it, but not really. <laughs> My internet is lagging. Good for you. <laughs> huh? Just. Oh, wow, well, look at those. <laughs> What's up? <a> Wait. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> Can we talk you about just a bunch of elves. <laughs> the animation right there? Like, the drawing that of that elf's awkward. eye? Like, oh my god, that was... Huh. Those, oh god. Those movements of the bird were amazing. <laughs> you know, we have... I almost said oh, something geez. really bad, never mind. Uh, um, hmm. Is this going to be a repeat of uh, that other episode? <laughs> No, oh, don't say that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah, I shouldn't jinx it. <laughs> I haven't seen this episode yet. <laughs> I will oh, yeah. get patiently at the end of At the end of the last episode, it was basically confirmed that Kumoko is the master that Sophia is constantly talking about. Yeah, I mean, Since she I was using the, last I believe Serbi of... worded it as a shoulder walkie-talkies. Yeah. <laughs> it was basically mini Kumokos. I don't think I said that. Did I? Might have been I think... Chris. Yeah, it was either you or Chris, but you, you said it with a, very, uh, with a lot of conviction. If I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm sure you can just go and watch that. <laughs> it's like at the start of a discussion, too. I mean, you just became hero, dude. Mm. <laughs> Damn humans. Well, she's, in a human she's not day. actually human, but, you know, she's human. She's not an elf, that's all that matters. She's, yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty racist now that you think about it. <laughs> now that I think about it, elves in fantasy have always kind of been that way. 
Mm-hmm. Very kind of uppity, like they're better than everyone else. Yeah. Is that like the barrier surrounding the village? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's why they had to teleport in. You just sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> and spread the virus here. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? You're just look at their Just chill, man. <laughs> they look constipated. Hmm. Their pride is gonna be their downfall. Why does Shun have such a big head in that chat just now? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> just just look the other way for now. Oh my god. Knock knock. Mm-hmm. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to just focus on the story, but mm. it's very distracting. It's not as bad as episode 14. Yeah, it's not as bad yet. <laughs> it's you not know. a slideshow. <laughs> it's not a slideshow. <laughs> they're just, that's good they're enough. Just, they're struggling to stay on model for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Like, their eyes just aren't quite uh, where they should be. Like, some shots look fine, and then others just look kind of yeah. wonky. <laughs> definitely had to rush out a few. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's gotten fat so much that her forehead is no, is getting the fat from her fatness. What? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, yes, that was a tick. Ba. I'm getting nervous for no reason. Oh, yes. Because all millions of our viewers are going to judge us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Explain that to my anxiety, not me. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Because of an administrator that we will not say the letter for. <laughs> the administrator must really... not be named. We can fall the work. Administrator PP. Oh. <laughs> We're sorry. So, yeah, administrators are basically gods. We kind of figure that. Ah, yes, Natsume's book of friends. (laughs) No, no. Sophia. Hmm. AKA Spooky in Kiwi terms. Yeah, I don't remember her name. She's spooky for me. That is how they nicknamed her in the book. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Same as the president of 
the middle school in Pretty Boy Detective Club is, I don't know his name, I just know that he's a lolicon, so he's a lolicon. No. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> not the <laughs> Brainwashing is just a funny word. Yeah, Hugo takes the soap out of his uh, pocket, starts rubbing it on their heads. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Oh, she's asking. She has so many nicknames, actually. <laughs> ah yes, she's also the booby lady. And the baby bud sucker. Yeah, like Kumoko. <laughs> Are you she... Yuri? That's the Saint Candidate. The what? Saint Candidate. Oh. The Jesus She's lady, the religious girl. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, she's working with uh Dustin, right? Mm -hmm. Knock knock. If. It's a dick. <laughs> like a particular wakaba. Who may or may not have ascended to being a god, or was a god to begin with. Smart man. Don't don't make it seem like Julius is dead. This was yeah. me. Ah, <laughs> uh, goddamn, Kiri. <laughs> <laughs> Are <laughs> Peasants. I'd like to see them try. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary turtles. What? Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. Is that the guy from Demon Slayer? 
Oh, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was looking if it's the same voice actor as well. I mean, the hairstyle seems kind of similar. <laughs> I like him. I like him very much. <laughs> Whoa. Shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> that old fart? Mm -hmm. Dustin? Kuso Baba. Kuso he said Kuso Baba. Right, he said Kuso Baba. Mm -hmm. Then Ariel? <laughs> Oh, Exploding damn. Dagger. Explosion. Explosion. <laughs> e Caliba. <laughs> Says the girl that hasn't watched Fate. I don't need to watch Fate to be able to know what Excalibur is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's Jujutsu Kaisen. This again. looks like, yeah, I was about to say, this looks like <laughs> Kumoko's poison. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is Shiro is totally Kumoko. I mean, is there really any debate now? Oh, there it is. Oh, the saint. The crazy girl. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I know that this is a serious <laughs> moment, but like. Ango Natsume dies. His eyes in battle. <laughs> the weirdest part is some scenes look like just fine, and then it flips to one that just doesn't. <laughs> yeah, like, if it's staying consistent, like. Oh god, that horse is not moving anywhere. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, at least Sophia looks good. Nice V2 remodel, Sophia. <laughs> also, Nasume is Hugo, right? Yes. Yeah, so he apparently is going to die here or in some battle. You know, I, I don't really care about Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he was just standing there minding his own business. 
They got yeeted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, death all heretics. Oh god, are you okay? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sophia is just being cool standing in the background. <laughs> oh, see, Sophia could probably just wreck them all herself, but like, no, she's got to pose. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. And she kills her student. Uh, okay, wait. That she, I thought I that thought hit she the dick. His dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Well, good riddance. <laughs> okay, so he is Natsume. <laughs> Natsume's book of friends. No. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of like people just forgetting that there's other people on the battlefield here. Mm hmm. Look at those thighs, though. <laughs> it looks like they pooped. <laughs> hmm. She pooped out soon. <laughs> Wait. Wait, it's no. hmm. Hmm. I see. This is episode fourteen. That's you the know conclusion. what? Um Yeah, I mean uh, at least they didn't have any missing sound effects this time. <laughs> yeah, this one didn't seem like it was like as it, it yeah, wasn't it as bad as fourteen. It definitely but it wasn't. wasn't. Great. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of weird pacing, and then like a lot the of, unfortunate uh, thing with this episode versus fourteen though is there isn't as much like dialogue content to distract you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I went back to rewatch 14 because I didn't understand it the first time. Then, like, at least there was some story there. But this was supposed to be, like, a huge battle, right? And this yeah. is where the animation is supposed <laughs> to shine. But, like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> come on, Spider. You can do better than this. <laughs> no, I'm cool, I'm cool. Okay, you see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, what? It looks pretty. Oh! 
<laughs> you can't don't yeah. touch my best boy kiwi hands yeah. off <laughs> you're already too late on that one what? kiwi <laughs> he's been my best boy since day one no touching <laughs> i don't care i don't care <laughs> if you gotta share if you gotta share nope you share you share with your friends you know gonna be i don't share my man with my friends i'm sorry yeah, let's talk about the good thing first. Um, yeah, that guy, that boy at the end. It was a very good thing from this episode. <laughs> God damn you, Kiwi. We got uh, the other ninja guy. In the uh, exploding sword! <laughs> yes. I love sushi. Oof. I don't actually. Shinobu Kusama. He has a ninja skill. This was one of the reincarnations that they were worrying about, whether they would be on their mm -hmm. side or the enemy's side. How much do we bet that he fell for Kumoko's human form, and that's why he's on yeah. their side? He seems like that type of guy. Okay, like, <laughs> well, if we're going off of the other guy that we know who kind of looks like this, and is also sort of a ninja, and is from a different anime, <laughs> um, <laughs> then yeah, he's probably a suit. <laughs> No, he seems like the type of guy that I would like, that's kind of like player-ish, but not really a player. <laughs> I fell in love instantly when I saw him. It's okay, the same look, fucking guy with horns. You, you can't have all him, I will take my rest. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can have wrath. I don't care what you say no. to me. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Okay, who, you gotta who, share. Who, no, who is he referring to when it comes to that old fart? Is that uh, like he like I go back? I wanna hear if he said Baba or Gigi. Gigi. So Gigi, yeah, old fart. Old that man. means male. Mm -hmm. Dustin. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's good. Go gooly, go gooly. Gooly gooly. Gooly gooly. Yeah, maybe it's him. Maybe he's referring to him because he is on Ari's aerial side. Potentially. But then and he's again, also old. There's like Dustin's forces is directly attacking as well, so could be Dustin as well. But mm -hmm. isn't Dustin against Ariel? Uh, oh no, never, uh, mind. never like mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, side. never mind. Never mind. The saint yeah. is and everyone else is on Dustin's side. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I, we saw that uh, crazy saint girl get shot back by uh oka sensei but like is she dead i don't know she got shot by one arrow in the back i mm. mean sensei doesn't seem like the type to like she was trying to save her students from the very beginning i don't think that she would actually go and kill her student she or was maybe. trying to kill hugo yeah but hugo deserves it <laughs> yeah that's true uh honestly he should die but you know they did talk about the administrators and stuff like that yeah, basically they said the administrators are gods. Gods, pretty much. And the, they're mm. fighting. So aren't they basically fighting against gods then, Shun and his team? Basically yeah, going against the much. gods. Well, the elves have they said basically that they are and, not. Yeah, and the <laughs> administrator that we won't mention the letter of the name of, mm -hmm. she was really fond of Kumoko. So that means that Kumoko is probably on her side, right? Mm, I think. And that administrator is like a neutral, uh, chaotic force who just enjoys seeing people suffer. <laughs> I say this See to the, the truth and the nature. Oh, what did you say, sir? I said we see that the elves are snotty and, and discriminatory against yeah. anyone who's not elf, including the half elves. Mm, we could have yeah, elves that are pretty racist as well. Where they're like, yeah. uh, elves no, are... we don't accept humans. <laughs> yeah, elves are pretty racist when it comes down to it. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> okay, cut that out, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Jeez, really picking fights now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was a pretty good joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, but like, only with us, okay? <laughs> Not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> on, but. Wait, wait, story. Uh, didn't was, the administrator say? Didn't the administrator? Yeah, didn't the administrator say that it wasn't intentional? That it was just a feud between the old demon lord and the hero, and that they ended up getting hit on accident? Yeah, it was basically a misfire. <laughs> <laughs> but like, was it a misfire? If administrator 
that particular administrator was in their class. Could it potentially be that the hero and the demon lord just like uh, shot at that person? And because they were in the Why class, everybody else was that? just collateral damage. Why would <clears> they do that, though? That's what well, I'm wondering. Why would the demon lord, the old demon lord and hero try to kill a god from their world? I would not want that kind of god to rule my world. <laughs> a god that is a sadist <laughs> that enjoys seeing people suffer and will probably go out of their way to see so people suffer. Evil god. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, the, if like, you had the power trust... by joining together, would you, like, wa not want to destroy an evil god that causes pain and suffering? Yeah, but from what I've taken from the administrator there, she's pretty, like, that person is pretty neutral. So, would it be, like, safe to assume that she didn't mingle with the world until the reincarnations were put into the world? That's not true, because we mm. know she, like, made the she... system. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. Never mind then. I'm sorry. She she was know. probably uh, the administrator of this world, and then for some reason she escaped out of the system. Well, she might not have been in the system to begin with. They just go mingle in a random classroom, and uh, I think like the hero and the demon lord sort of found out about this, and they saw the opportunity to attack her or something. We also mm -hmm. don't necessarily know how many administrators there are. We've only seen. Yeah. Many, but... I mean, you know, Gooly Gooly is an administrator as well. Gooly uh, Gooly. Potentially Goddess Serial, since she's also a god, uh, she would be also an administrator. I, I, I took a, a Serial as much more like a human that was put, that was powerful and put into the position yeah, of a god. Yeah, I don't think Serial, who has blue orange wings out of her back, like an angel, would be a human. Uh, but that's just me. Yeah, okay. It doesn't have to be a human, more like a being that was put onto the position of a god rather than being a god. That's how I took it, but okay. Well, there is also the possibility that you could like level up so much that you could ascend to become a, a god, which could potentially happen at some point in the series because he's something like that. Hmm, okay. So that's why Podimus agreed to save all the reincarnations because it does benefit them as well, having a powerful pawns, basically, that they could use to help defend against the administrators. Basically, elves, the elves didn't like the religion of other people, so they decided to start stealing and collecting children because their beliefs were going against what the rest of the world <laughs> believed. Not quite that simple, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, is anything ever quite that simple with this show? It's just... <laughs> it's not that kind of show that you can just like, oh yeah. This I goes to like, that, A I goes like to <laughs> I don't like these gods, I'm going to create my own religion and collect children to be put into my religion. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not a cult. <laughs> uh, other than that, the only other thing I might want to talk about is a uh, comment from Vash. Zash, Wash, 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 Wash. Oh god, is that a trigger word for Kiwi too? No, I'm it's, sorry, fine, dude. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll never be able to no, say your name fine, ever again. Fine. <laughs> but it's yeah. fine, it didn't trigger me. I was thinking about washing my clothes and just collect it to itself. <laughs> Sorry. Basically, I believe you said something along the lines of yeah. that Hiro Wakaba's name wasn't crossed out uh, 15 years ago when Oga Sensei checked his kill for the first time. So that technically means that Hiro Wakaba was reincarnated into this world. But, like, as we stated, I, I think it's more fun to think to theorize about that than rather to just dismiss that oh uh, yeah hero wakaba died so i'm gonna go on to the limb and say that the skills very easily uh tampered with since administrator mm -hmm. that administrator gave them their skills to begin with and reincarnated them uh, according to whatever their soul fit their soul so like why would it not be that easy to just tamper with it and like maybe tie that uh particular tag with like with Kumiko instead of her and then Kumiko ends up is probably gonna end up getting beat down by Ariel at some point but since her current evolution is like immortal she's probably gonna come back somehow but still be tagged as dead it's, that's just my theory it's an anime so, theory so, 
I agree with you there. So when I saw that Kumoko wasn't like crossed out like Wakaba, I yeah. I mostly thought about the same thing. Like maybe it can be easily tampered with, and I was mostly thinking about okay, what if senses like mental state and the way that she thinks about it is kind of connected to the skill. So basically, someone tells her, oh yeah. Uh, Wakaba is dead and then gives an example of what, how it would be possible for her to die, like a logical example, like she was, I don't know, crushed by a rock or whatever. And then basically she kind of, in the mind, thinks of Wakaba as dead and that's how the skill kind of ends itself. That's how the only I reason that it. doesn't really work, Kiwi, is because it's predictive, is mm. it's telling her about future events. Ah, yeah. okay. She pretty much knows how her students are going to die. But the descriptions of how are very, very vague. Like we saw in this episode, it's saying Natsume is uh, going Natsume to die, die in the wild village. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it could be in this battle, or it could be in a future battle that happens at the elf village. I don't think the skill tells her exactly when, or does it? I don't. It remember. says that they will. Like she said, that they will die in their twenties, like around yeah, twenty think, years old in the last oh, episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of she her students, so... Mm -hmm. it's, uh, so, she also has some sort of time awareness yeah. to that. She knows loosely is... when and how they die, but it's all very... Oh, it's months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still she feel like she can change it, with. but... Yeah. Yeah, she can't do anything to it herself. It was given to her, and we also know that it's probably given to her by a particular administrator. It would be a really uh, easy way to, like, use Kumiko as a scapegoat, make everybody think that she's dead, and not suspect that it was that person to begin with, but yeah. It could also be that we're entirely wrong, and that we've been that's why, that's saying theories that don't make sense to begin with. Yeah, that's why I was also thinking that Kumoko, that the administrator is on Kumoko's side, because she could easily like tamper with Kumoko's like life, and like if she lives or not, and then also kind of control her and be the communicator between the monsters, mm. the administrator okay. Kumoko, and if she's alive, maybe that could be seen kind of as hard to do or something. Like if she's okay. seen as alive as the an The administrator is like actively a part in this fight, or like... The, mm. Yeah, I think that she maybe has some something to do with it. Mm. Maybe not, maybe yes. Doesn't really have to be. Okay. Just an idea that I got. For me, the way that I see the administrator, I feel like with the way that she speaks to Kumiko, it's almost like she's just watching an anime and she has like some sort of control over the anime slightly and she wants the anime to be entertaining. I don't think she really cares about Kumiko, she's just using her as a scapegoat. It's almost as if she's viewing her as like some sort of pet that's interesting to look at. Mm. Mm -hmm. So personally, I don't think that she would uh, help out Kumako. Rather, it could be more possible that she hinders Kumako. Like, why would this particular administrator, if she wanted to help Kumako, make her into a spider and put her into the most dangerous labyrinth there is in this world, probably? Like, mm. <laughs> make her powerful for later on when she needs to have fun or something. I'm not saying that she is on Kumoko's side. I'm saying that she maybe is using Kumoko as a way to communicate with others because she doesn't want to be known like by other people, other reincarnations, as an administrator who was in her class before. Maybe she's using Kumoko as a communication tool, and that's why I'm su I'm assuming that she's on Kumoko's side. It doesn't really have to be it. It could be wrong. I don't like mind if that's the logic that I went through. I wouldn't really call that being on Kumiko's side, but I understand what you're trying to say. I would just personally summarize that as, yeah, she's just a scapegoat who's being used as like a decoy uh, so that other people think that she's dead. Except for Ghoulie Ghoulie, who knows that she is still there. Ghouly Ghouly doesn't really seem to mind, just flirting with her on the cell phone again. But yeah, that's a theory for another day. <laughs> Ghouly mm. Ghouly, the dragon master. Yes. The dick master. Oh, oh god. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Is that why? <laughs> oh god. Okay, no, no, we're not gonna get silly. No. We already got too <laughs> no, silly last time. We never with, like, get silly. We're yeah, never. we're very serious. 
We, we, we definitely didn't talk about like uh, Titans with tissues and Pikachu faces <laughs> at all. Titans with daddy issues. Oh no, that's been <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? Every episode, a new attack on Titan theory. Wait, we're not watching this. Wrong show, wrong show. I mean, you know, it seems similar. <laughs> you can play this. Who does Kuroko okay. have daddy issues? She doesn't, so she's not a Titan with daddy issues. Nah, oh. she has mommy issues, but she took care of them. <laughs> yeah, she eat, she, 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 I oh, know, she didn't eat her mom. I cannot make the boiling joke. Oh. I mean, she ate her mom's brain. Basically. Okay, so she, her consciousness. Basically, <laughs> she basically took her mom's brain and boiled it in a hot pot and ate it. Um, <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that. Um, last thing that I might want to con comment about is just like, like, yeah. Boiling um, dad. We saw oh, oh. a few negative comments about this episode. Uh, nothing spoiler. Oh. But, yeah, I, I can understand <laughs> why you. there was a uh, there was many inconsistencies That's with like, the drawings wedding. and the animation. No Kumoko and, and the animation wasn't perfect. <laughs> yeah, like all the the two D animation within the show, we already know that it just hasn't really been up to par, and it's kind of sad, really, especially during uh, important like fighting scenes like this, where it just makes it, everything look kind of janky and. Instead of it being a serious moment, it turns into a comedic one, which is not supposed <laughs> yeah. to be. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, once but... upon a time, uh, there will be a bitch of... No, maybe one. <laughs> maybe once in the future, the spider will get a, a good remake. <laughs> I hope they clean up some of the animation like for Blu-ray <clears throat> release, but... Yeah, I much. hope they do. Maybe in mean, 2050, there will be a remake of Spider like there was the fruit mask. <laughs> no, in 2050. That. In 2050. <laughs> okay. I'm a Black Clover fan, and I, the animation is kind of like this sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they do clear that up in the Blu ray version. Hopefully, they might do this for Spider as well. They, I think they I don't want a little more time. But like they delayed this, so it's kind of unfortunate and kind of disappointing. We'll have That's to see. I'm really hoping that at the end of this they announce a season two. But if they do a second season, I hope that they like so they, yeah. don't. I, it's not like the next season. Like they take time to actually. Yeah, please. Make like it. I don't mind waiting I for it if yeah. the animation oh, wait. Just works. Oh wait, just make you know, it good. <laughs> I want to see Polly Seven in its full glory. <laughs> <laughs> I, in all honesty, I wouldn't mind if. They did the second season wholly in CGI. I actually because, mind yeah, yeah, monsters, monsters, monsters are kind of janky and everything. Like, we but saw I Sophia's think Sophia's three D model in this episode, and it looks really nice. Yeah, yeah and okay. also the and also Ariel also looked actually, really good in the three D model. Bad model. Bad. So mm. I wouldn't mind it if this whole second season was in three D because even though. Huh? What happened to Kiwi? Zero. Yeah. Hello. Can you not hear me? Can you, hear? Can you uh, not hear me? Okay. Okay, now you I can, can hear you. Hear her. yeah, all of a sudden you just <laughs> you, you just disappeared. What? I could hear her. She <laughs> no, I could She liked the like even though some of the monsters like were a little janky, she liked the three. Yeah, yeah. I mean that part, but then all of a sudden she just stopped talking for me. I don't know why. <laughs> I shut the fuck up just for you, Zero. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I see. I see how it is. Thank you, Kiwi. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but... That's what friends are for. <laughs> but I, I'm really hoping that if the I... Kumiko versus Ariel fight does happen... Oh, have a dick. You know, ...within oh. this season, um, ignore that. <laughs> that they put their budget into that fight. Because that mm. is something that I want to see. And I want to see it done well and yeah, like, but not be comedic if, they... if it's not supposed to be. <laughs> even like, if they, as like... obviously, I've read the light novels, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not sure where they're planning to end this season exactly. I have a fight that I really want them to get to. I'm kind of thinking they might not get there, but if they did, I would really want like good budget in that fight. Mm. Even but, like. We'll even see. If, I don't know. If if 
even if they save a budget for Kumoko and Ariel fight, even if it doesn't happen this season, if the next season they save up for it, I don't want the rest of the animation to be a slideshow, okay? I don't they think it will save be. save up the money, be. but I don't want a slideshow for the rest of the show. <laughs> I don't want episode 14 repeating itself where there's just a wall of text and slideshow going on. I didn't no. come for a PowerPoint presentation, I came for an anime. No, I don't think it will be. I mean, imagine if it was just anime like Dora Hedora. You heard or if Mappa, if Mappa picked up, if I, Mappa picked I would up dream of that. <laughs> if Mappa picked up Kumades Kananika, that would be ideal. ideal Mappa the one who did Dora Hedora. Yeah, if yeah. they picked it up. Mm-hmm. Then it, we would have Dora Hedora level of 3D <laughs> animation. And that would be great. Oh yeah, like the models, the shading, like... I, I like the models that they have in this. Yeah, the 3D yeah, models just, currently here are great. It just seems like in some of these episodes, they have like, because like, if you look at it from like a storyboarding, like, the directing is good. They just don't seem to have the time and manpower to do what they're trying to do sometimes, mm. which is kind of a money and studio size problem. So like, if that. it does get a second season, I'd hope that they can like have a, more put to it, I guess. I don't know. Like a similar situation to uh, uh, what's season. going on with MAPPA currently. Like they're just accepting too many anime to work on that some shows just end up getting shafted. Well, obviously, all of this well. is under the assumption that it does get a second season, which I really, really hope it does. But yeah, that's just I, I me hoping. So well. <laughs> there should be, or there should be a studio just did it and just made and dedicated for Kumodes Kananika like it is for Mushoku Tensei, and it looks great. <laughs> that should happen. Well, Mushoku Tensei is a different beast altogether, right? Yes, but it's still an yeah. isekai that got a dedicated studio made for it. I mean, we can dream. There's just dedicated mm-hmm. studios for each anime that we love. I think we're starting to rant like on about spiders. other stuff book, now. Book. Book, 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 book. Yes, and, and QB seems to be quite tired. Either way, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end the conversation here. It's been long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Later, dudes. Bye bye. <laughs> Let me spell your name, bitches.